What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This video, I'm going to make the pretty much directions on how this magic box works exactly for you guys. I'm going to tell you how easy it is. So, when you get it, it's going to come in a box with some extra stuff in it, GPS, stuff like that. You don't need it. The only thing you need, grab the box, grab the cable right here. You then Again, there's nothing special, just a USB to USB-C. That's it. You're not going to worry about this one right now. First step, take it out of the box. Second step, go to your vehicle, whatever vehicle you have. It's this easy. We're just gonna turn it in the accessory position. I'm not gonna start it right now, because it does not matter. You can do it in accessory, uh, or you can do it running, it don't matter. So, next step, guys, take the box, plug it into your USB. These these are zit, it's, it's that easy. Now, some vehicles, depending on the vehicle, some vehicles, you know, USB will be different. Uh, some vehicles, their CarPlay USB, you connect USB, or I think Ford was the Sync USB, Mercedes. Regardless, their USBs are going to be different. On the RAM, right now it's here. Uh, sometimes, you know, you got them inside here. It's all uh, different, guys. So, what you're going to do, just plug it in into the USB first step. You're going to see this light come on the box, letting you know, okay, you got power. Then on the screen, you're going to get this pop up. Uh, do not watch this while you're driving. You're going to hit I know because you know you shouldn't watch TV while you drive. That's it. You're going to hit I know. I got to close the door. This thing's going to drive me nuts. It's dinging. Okay. So, there's a couple things you can do, guys. You can mirror your phone if you would like on here. Me, personally, I don't want to do that. I don't want to get my phone involved in it. I want to have it accessible. So, what I did is just connected the device to Wi-Fi. Now, my truck has Wi-Fi. So, when I go to the settings tab, I'm gonna go to more apps because you can customize the screen. Settings, you're gonna hear, see the Wi-Fi here. You're gonna see here, see it's connected to my truck, Eddie's Ram right now. You guys can connect it to whatever you want. I just rather have it hooked up to the truck because you get a lot more stuff on this device when you have it hooked to Wi-Fi. You can use your hotspot on your phone also. But pretty much this is it, guys. You know, here it is. This is your home screen, so you can customize, do whatever you want with This is what I did. Now, you're going to go to more apps. You have two options to download. You have your Google Play Store, which is... Where is that Google Play Store? Oh, actually, I think it is uh, on my home screen. Yeah, right there. So you got the Google Play Store, just like any other uh, Android device. Go to your Google Play Store. This is where you can download stuff. Now, because obviously this is not a, you know, we can't update it like a cell phone. So if you guys are having trouble, here's, or oh, actually, let me show you an example. So say you want Hulu, right? So we're going to hit Hulu. You'll notice there's nothing. See, Hulu doesn't pop up. But what I have done with these devices is I have put an app for you guys. It is called APK Pure. And you can set that where I put it. See that right here, guys. Let me, I don't know if you can, if it's clear. Can you guys see that right there? APK Pure. So, when you can't find an app, you're going to go here. APK Pure. Give it a sec here. It'll open up. This is just like a Google Play Store. It just has a lot more options than Google Play Store. So, go to your search bar up top. Type what you're looking for. So, we're going to do... Hulu then hit your search give it a sec here you can move this out of your way and there you go see that and usually you always click the first one because that's the most updated firmware for this device so that's why I would go with the updated one but if that don't work you can do the other one but it's no big deal this is just the app where you know Pretty much, if you see something that's not available, you're just going to go here and you can find it. You got Disney Plus, HBO Max, Amazon Prime. I mean, there's just tons of stuff. Netflix, you got it all. Now, once you've already downloaded it and it's done, you can go, uh, mine's on the home screen. So we can say you want, uh, what do you want, Netflix, Hulu. Here, we'll use Hulu. There you go. And this thing, don't worry, you can get it out of your way, move it wherever you want. Uh, it, won't, it doesn't stay there, you know, so once you start playing something, it will go away. Hulu's nice because there is live TV on there. 
um, you know you can download stuff that's what's nice if you guys don't want to worry about Wi-Fi you can download stuff um, here you want to do a you know episode of Yellowstone there you go and that's it there you go I had no idea what the hell she just said right there I don't know if that was English or what uh, she probably needs subtitles uh, but you know you can add that so you can do now um, Netflix I really like YouTube TV this is personally one of my favorite apps right here uh, just because this has uh, live TV and it will show you uh, up top sports you know all that kind of stuff oh another thing guys so check this out you see this how it's a little grainy a little green this is how to fix that problem so let's search uh, this is you know I don't know the top picks it says um, I don't know you know how they figure out top picks whatever it is but uh, my man will so let's go to the fresh prints it's gonna open up like this right see that look at that so now what we're gonna do here go full screen okay now see that little settings tab go to that settings tab get this thing out of the way quality you can go to auto see here's your options right here Give it a sec, let that load up. See, it's set to 240. Uh, I, I don't know why YouTube TV defaults that, but I'm gonna go, you can go auto, I'm gonna go 480, because I know this screen resolution is compatible uh, with that. And give it a sec here, it's gonna switch over. See that? Bam. Notice that green is gone. That green is gone now. So, if you get that, guys, that is a fix. Now, why it's not full screen, that's probably Fresh prints. Uh, here we'll pick something, something else. Here, go to. Let's go to. I think there were some horse races. There we go. Oh, horse race here. Now you see how it's still green, guys. Once you already pick your 480, you won't have to change it again. It's gonna remember it once you're on here, and it will continue and keep it at the 480 for you. See that? And that's full screen. So fresh prints. I don't know why. It's probably the resolution that they're shooting in, but. There you go. Look at that. Is that easy? No green, no graininess. You're good to go. Another nice thing, guys, is what I like to do if I'm not home. You can monitor. I can monitor my house or my businesses, you know, through the uh, surveillance system setup that we got going on over here. See this? You can scroll over. Hey, what's going on? You know, there's a truck. Um, or you can go to all 16 if you would like. There you go. Let all those load up, and you can I can view the whole compound from just the truck. Look at that, bam! So, uh, I'll probably give these a sec. They'll probably load up, but uh, there's tons of things you know you can do on this thing, guys. It's pretty much what this is doing. Long story short, is it's turning your your screen or your 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 car device, whatever you want to call it, into pretty much an Android tablet. Uh, that's you know that's long story short that's what it's doing now for people that have direct tv this is awesome because i got direct tv all you got to do just put your email you just uh you don't even have to sign up i think you just go online uh since you already have direct tv direct tv is a uh, nice or if you have even at&t at&t gives you free hbo and direct tv gives you this app where you literally have live tv on your your uh vehicles display Whatever display you know you want to hook it up in, you literally have live TV. I mean, this is awesome. You're just gonna click it, let yep, that load. There you go. That's it. I mean, it's just endless what you can do with this thing, guys. It's it's crazy. I mean, my garages. If I want to open my garages, and another thing. So once all this is already opened, you know, so say you are going on a road trip or whatever. See here, showing that it's open. If I want to close this garage, I just tap it and that's it. But so let's go back, um, you know, how I already had Hulu open. See that? Look how fast that opens up. It's not loading Hulu again or anything like that. So say, you know, we had like the DirecTV open, you know, we had YouTube TV open. Once it's already open, so you want to go back to it, it's instant. You know, it doesn't have to sit and load the app again. Go back, and it will show you your home screen. Uh, which, though, I mean, it's no big deal like Netflix. We haven't opened Netflix up yet. Click Netflix, and you can see the speed. It's not, you know, laggy, glitchy. It's not taking you sitting here waiting all day. I mean, there you go. 
I mean, it's it's done. You're ready to go. If you do want to check something, you can go, you know, check some on YouTube and then just open back up Netflix. There you go. That's right there. So that's how, that's pretty much how the device works now. Compatibility, guys. If you got, you know, CarPlay, uh, if you've got, like, Uconnect, I think RAM is Uconnect, um, GM, you know, I think Ford is, like, Sync, I believe. If you got any of those, I think, or even, like, it's a 14 or 15 vehicle and up, you pretty much have CarPlay. You got all these options. Uh, we are trying to come out with something for, like, the older Duramax, like the 2011, 12, where they do have a screen. But I don't know if this is going to work um, because, number one, I haven't tried it. And number two, I don't think it does. Uh, it does have, have that capability. So we're trying to come out with something either built into the device or something external that you plug into. And then you plug the box into where it works and it mirrors onto the screen. Um, the quality of it, of that screen, I'm not sure of. But we are coming out with something for you guys. But right now, I think, I mean, this thing's working on everything. I tried it on my truck, on Mercedes. Uh, we've tried it in 2017, 18 Ram trucks. I did it in a uh, Duramax, 16 Duramax, it worked. Uh, did it in a Ford, like, van, that worked. Did it in an F-150, it worked on that Ford. It is pretty much working on everything, guys, that, like, has a USB. Um, I, you know, we haven't found any problems yet on which vehicles are compatible with. So it's sort of like a uh, trial and error right now. But as of right now, if you got a newer vehicle and you got USB, it's going to work. And if you guys are interested in the product, the link is down in the description. Click that link and it will take you right to the website to purchase it. And you can see more there. They got warranties, whatever you want to do, that's on you. Um, but take, go to that link and it will take you to this right now. I believe he might be sold out. Um, he has a huge batch coming in. So... If you go on their website and it says sold out, that's pretty much he ran out. He has no more. If you go on there and it says three to four weeks, uh, that means he's got a couple left and you'll be in that batch. Now, right now, that three, four weeks, he put that about two weeks ago. So I think pretty much once you guys see this video, about one more, one week you'll have to wait before you get your device. Um, or when you get the device, you'll have to wait only one week and then you'll get it in the mail. But that's it, guys. It's that easy. These are just stuff, you know, that I uh, preloaded myself on here. And then you can, you know, move all this where you want. See, there's your phone cast if you want to uh, cast your phone or not. Um, I, like I said, I personally don't like that. I like to do it, you know, like this and hook it just to Wi-Fi. Um, you know, I mean, there's tons of stuff. HBO Max. I mean, you can do whatever you want guys look at that i downloaded a vlc for my android people you guys know what vlc is you got peacock got disney plus prime video i mean there's other stuff that's here um that is not on the home screen you know i just i uh move that you know myself what i use the most so that's about it guys it's that easy there's really no installation to it besides plug in you know that usb and that's it that's your only option uh i'm take this and tuck it wherever you want tuck it down here and Whatever you want to do, then you're done. You can get a longer one if you want and hide it under here. That's up to you guys, but that's it. So if you guys do have any questions, you can uh, email. Once you click the link, uh, you can email them for any questions or you can give them a call for any questions. You can go from there. I do a lot of these videos on my Instagram too. If you want to see more on what it's cap uh, compatible with and what we're doing with it, uh, any you know new tips, tricks, whatever we found, go follow my Instagram at Eddie's Life and you'll be able to see all that info. But that's all I got for you guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and don't click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.